terrorists, we're not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we rock. Hey, so bringing up a memorable, bringing up a memorable name because I had got a phone call about a decade ago. Uh, but it's been about ten years. I got a phone call from Face uh, that they wanted me to come in. They wanted me to write this particular film project, and the film project was surrounding Big Lurch. You lying? See, I hold on. Hold oh, up. Let man. me get. Let me give me a drink too. Yeah, I, I need a drink on that. This nigga, yeah. Hey, nigga, how much? Oh, how, 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 what are the stories you 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 holding out on me, nigga? Who me? Oh, this nigga. <laughs> nah, that nigga. Hey, hey, chunky, hey, chunky blood. Hey, hey, I probably hey, I probably hey, Hold on, hold on, time out. Hey, I got, I gotta say that. Hey, dude, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I probably nigga, That nigga say big lurch. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You know I keep the receipts for the ass up in case the nigga. My nigga said Big Lurch. For the people who don't know who Big Lurch is, bro, Big Lurch was a is a rapper from Murderworth, Fort Worth, Texas. That's right. He was, he was a horrorcore rapper that got signed to Black Market, right? Yep. He was signed to Black Market. Went to move to L.A. On that dip. On that, on that dip. dip. Oh, on that shit. Dip. Oh, shit. You look, you see that nigga? I was joking around. Look. Look at that. Do you see that nigga? You see what he just did? Oh, no, nigga. Look at the camera. Don't try to hide them goddamn <laughs> Hey, but go ahead. I'm finna say what you said, huh? Nah, man. You shocked me with this one, bro. Hey, so look. So as I was saying, yo. Yeah, I get the phone call because I'm fucking with Face at this time. I, I, I'm tired in the Face about seven years. You know, this was Face back and forth in L.A. doing this shit. So I'm fucking with Face real heavy, man. I'm trying to slow this nigga down off them values. That nigga pop a value and be nodded out on you in five seconds, man. Bam, right? <laughs> and so, uh, anywho, Face hollered at me and said, Say, Daddy, uh, what you know about Lurch? I said, that's the homie, man. Lurch is the homie. What you mean what I know about it? I said, Lurch, Lurch was hard as fuck. I said, man, if Lurch wouldn't have came out here and got off that yarn, man, Lurch would have been like, like a beat brazy, feel me? In that category. You know, when it come to West Coast rappers, I said, Lurch would have been one of them niggas who went out in history from Texas, but represented the West to the fullest, though, man. So Lurch came out here, got tied in with the Swans, man, with the S-Gang, man. And as you know, TV Land, I don't do no line, niggas. I don't do no fucking line. None. You see what that say? Wow. That say, I say big, the big lurch experiment. The lurch experiment. You see what the, synopsis say. You see what the name say on the synopsis, man. Wow. Yeah. Big Starface, Nino Cappuccino, and Third Alfred, man. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. I this. I own the synopsis. I own it. This me. This all me. I right here. So I still hold on to it right down the day, bro, because I was trying to get up in there and get to the system to get the rights. So I was just going to obtain them, going to buy them myself. So what had happened was Face ended up hooking us up. It was some nigga from L.A. who had a new lurch for been managing. So he stepped in the picture, and that's what threw the thorn in the, in the, in the way of us and stopped the transition, bro. Or I would have went on and we would have put this story out. Hey. I want to I hey, want hey, to bring hey. it up to you, man. I'm glad you said it because I talk to Lurch every day. Oh, shit, man. Oh, well, you know, we're going to talk online. Look, look how God works. I talk, this yes, thing calls sir. He calls yes, me every day. Sir. Yes, sir, man. So, yes, sir. Shout out to Big Lurch. Lurch. I'm going to call you on the three-way and let y'all talk. And y'all figure it out. But this story man. is told, man. Please help my homeboy, my nigga. He hey, listen, home. man. Shout out to the homie Lurch, man. TV Land, just real quick, as Big Unk was explaining to y'all, here's a cat that came from Murderworth, straight out of Fort Worth, Texas. Came to Cali, landed in the S-Gang hood, man, representing this Damu shit to the fullest, but he was a cold Southern rapper. And for us, when we heard, when we put it like this, when the South was knocking on the door and banging on the door trying to get in, it was either the West or the East. That was it. 
Niggas wasn't paying attention to the South. So when Outkast and them came out, and Outkast and them stamped that stamp, bro, as well as the Ghetto Boys, for us street niggas, that shit was the shit shit. I mean, hard. This is what we call hardcore shit. So we accepted the South with full armor. We opened our arms up to the South, bro, from Texas. So when Lurch got here, this nigga had a style that was out inside of a style. So what happened, the homie got the smoke in that yarn, man. He got off that wet, bro, and he, he was on that real Sherman. We ain't talking about that bullshit Sherman. He was on that real 80s Sherman, nigga. He was caught up in them 90s, but he was smoking that real 80s Sherman, nigga, when it was wet, wet. And the shit got the catching up to him, bro. So he ended up catching uh, multiple murders, man, and got caught up, man, got sent to death row or some shit, man. But this, this, is, this is definitely a story based on true events, true facts, that need to be out there, need to be told. And not only that, hopefully I can get this shit in the mix to where I can help the homie out, bro, where the helmet can get his cases overturned because of the fact he was under the influence of that shit. And that shit right there alone can set terms and set up a, 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 a defensive terms to where he had action on his appeals because of that. Can, I, can, I, have you, can I ask you a question? Shoot. Yeah. You, do you know, you really know about what happened, right? Yeah, but you know, I ain't gonna go into the depths of it, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, definitely. I just wanna ask you one question, man. If I'm a nigga that's there, right? And that was supposed to be somebody's baby mama, right? Okay, if we all there, we sure now. And allegedly, somebody said that, he said that she the devil, I gotta get the devil, the baby is the devil. I gotta get the baby out the stomach and kill the devil. A nigga say this, you're gonna let him do it? You're not gonna try to stop him? Where's the baby daddy at? Right. Why the fuck the baby daddy just let that happen? How did the fuck that happen with nobody stopping him? It's a fucking setup, my nigga. That's it's right. A setup. It's a setup. There's no way you in a room full of people when you saying that the baby is a devil, you're going to slice her open and get the baby and nobody stop this nigga. Bottom line is, when it, when it got to us, man, that's all we kept saying was the fact like niggas, at, this sound like you was trying to get, nigga was trying to get the homie out the way, basically. Yeah, or use him. You know, try to get the bitch out the way and use him. You know what? And that's what it came down to, yuck. So I, I'm in total agreement with you. Total agreement with you, man. But yeah, basically, TV, that's what happened, man. The homie ended up supposed to be allegedly carved the lady up, killed the baby out of her stomach. You know, some devilish shit because everybody in the house was high, basically. Feel me? And so he ended up with the murders somehow. So anywho, man, free the homie. Man, free big lurch, nigga. Straight up, man. Free big lurch, man. Free oh, Big Lurch, man. Murder worth, man. Murder worth style, man. Free Big Lurch. Lurch, Lurch I got you, man. Me and Yuck, we here, man. Let's do oh, something. Yeah, mm -hmm. man.